if you are having these obsessive thoughts, they're not going to go away from you trying to practice mindfulness. You're having those eating thoughts because you are hungry and your brain is telling you to eat. Okay, hi. So as you saw, I had lunch. I had those both wraps and I had the thing of grapes and now I've had a total of three baby oranges. I'm making myself some tea right now and it's weird. Like it's like I don't feel hungry hungry per se. Like as you saw, it was like a pretty it was pretty like healthful lunch. It was like wraps and veggies and fruit and like I was like craving that. But now I'm having like a hankering for something not so healthy, so I may scope out and see what that is. <laughs> and I'm making some tea. Did I mention that? Yeah. Update, um, I ended up snacking on a couple cheddar Pringles and I'm feeling pretty satisfied now. Just gonna take um, my vitamins and supplements that I've been recently taking. So I take a multi gummy vitamin, just, you know, why not? And I also take a omega-3 supplement that also has vitamin D3 in it. And then I also take KSM 66 ashwagandha um, twice a day. So I usually take it for breakfast and dinner time, I guess. So yeah, just taking those as well. This is a very hard process to like, I'm just gonna put you on the shelf here. It's very hard. I just sat down to like do work for the afternoon and I had thought of these cookies and in my head I was like, you just like ate a whole lunch and more like you should be fine i you i know you have to honor your mental hunger and the thoughts it's hard it's hard because it feels wrong it feels wrong so now that i am seeing actually i'm looking at my shelf these were the original cookies i was going to go for these fruit cream ones shout out but then I just realized I saw this butter tart that I have and now I want that instead which is even scarier um, so I like want it mentally but like I don't feel like I want it physically oh guys this is hard it's really hard Side note though, this butter tart is freaking delicious. It's so good. Sorry I got interrupted by my housemate coming down and going off to the gym while I eat my butter tart and my cookies. <sighs> Seems about right. But I, I cannot even believe like how much my body can eat now. Like the past three days. It's like, what? I've not let myself eat this much without any guilt. Like, obviously it's scary, but I don't feel guilty about it. And, like, I don't remember the last time I ate like this. Like, maybe as a kid. <laughs> anyway, that's my little update. It's really good. <laughs> oh, look, she's in another setting. One of the things that I struggled with is being constrained by time and not letting myself eat based on time, stuff like that. And I remember I had, like, the box of cookies there just to, like, show myself that, you know, it's there if I want it. And then I had like a little thought to like have a cookie, but I was like, really, well, I guess Ed. Ed, if I say Ed, I mean like ED, eating disorder. Ed said like, oh really? Like, come on, like, do you really need a cookie? No, 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 you really gonna eat that? And so I did, and I had one cookie, but then after I had one cookie, I realized that I didn't want any more cookies. And so I like haven't eaten since then, and it's been, I don't know, maybe two hours or so. 
and I'm like starving like I started to get a little bit hungry a little while ago but I wanted to like keep working on this assignment which is another thing that I noted usually when I delay eating it usually comes from a place of fear and it's usually like how long can I go without eating kind of thing but this felt very normal and this felt like not out of a place of fear it felt like okay like I know I'm gonna eat I'm just gonna like try to get as much work done before I like take a break and it was amazing like it wasn't like typical delaying like eating like it normally has been it like where like I'm still obsessively thinking about food I was like yep like my, my mind and body was like cool like all right like I know I can expect food now so just like go about and keep working but now like the hunger is like truly there like it's like a quite an intense physical hunger so I'm definitely gonna eat now I'm gonna honor that because I don't want to confuse my body but it's just really interesting I, I think I had this idea that I could think myself out of my eating disorder which is ridiculous oh no I don't need to eat a lot of food I don't need to I can just use like mindfulness practices or think myself out of it let the thoughts come and go and it's like no if you are having these obsessive thoughts they're not gonna go away from you trying to practice mindfulness or trying to you know do any sort of like mind tricks to try to get rid of the mind like the eating thoughts because you're having those eating thoughts because you are hungry and your brain is telling you to eat and even the past three days when I have been implementing this like unrestrictive behavior those thoughts are coming less and less and I don't have those like anxious overwhelming thoughts or just like a feeling of unease and the stress the entire time it's gone and I know that this isn't I'm three days in I know I have a long while to go and I need to make sure that I remain consistent and not kind of get excited and be like oh I'm a normal eater now because I recognize that this has been years of me not trusting my body and therefore my body not trusting me so I need to rebuild that trust and that will take time so I need to make sure to be consistent and to not try to like mess with it so I'm gonna remain consistent with this and I'm gonna go make some food now um, a couple of my housemates were making uh, pierogies so I think I'm kind of feel like pierogies so yeah I'm gonna go make that hi guys so it is about 9 15 right now I just had a shower as you can see and in that last clip you saw I had a little bit of Ben and Jerry's. That flavor is like crack. It's called a caramel hat trick. If you guys are like caramel obsessed like I am, then go get that ice cream because it's so good. Although I should mention that I've always been kind of mildly lactose intolerant. So um, I'm definitely quite bloated right now, but probably for other reasons. Speaking of which, so I just had a shower and I just got dressed, but um, I decided to do a really scary thing and take some body shots. It's not coming out of the way that it used to be when I would take photos of myself or body check myself to make sure like I looked small. Now that I've accepted the fact that I'm gonna gain weight, it's kind of just like a like a documentation purposes kind of thing. And I was taking the photos and Usually these kinds of things would make me like break down and start crying and then try to like, I don't know, like start planning my next diet or something. But it wasn't, it was kind of, I wouldn't want to say it was a good feeling. It was definitely kind of saddening that I've gotten to this point that I have to do this and I'm cheering up. <laughs> uh, more just like sad that I'm, that I'm at this place and uh, obviously I wish that I never you know had to go through with this and I wish no one has to go through with this but I also know that I'm gonna come out of this so much stronger I understand that my perception and my views on body image on food on weight on everything has been unhealthy from from the beginning but it only this issue only manifested only a few years ago so it was bound to be challenged and it had to come up this way I know that the struggle that I'm feeling right now is gonna make me come out stronger and gonna make me a better person um, so I just need to remember that but it was still hard because I was taking the pictures and I can consciously like understand that 
I am the biggest right now. Whether or not that's like water weight or bloating or actual like fat being stored, I, I know that I'm the heaviest that I've ever been right now in these past few days, I think. And I'm probably gonna get bigger. Which is just interesting. Um, so, I think when you come to accept, to a, a form of acceptance, it becomes a lot easier. And I'm not saying that acceptance is easy, but once you, not even give in, but just surrender, I guess is a good word. And you're just like, like I'm done, then not restricting becomes a lot easier because you kind of have this, I don't, I don't care. Like I don't, not even, but not a rebelling kind of care in a, in a binging sense when you're like, fuck it, <laughs> and you're eating everything. More of like a, I'm just, I'm not gonna, like I have, where's my phone? Sometimes when I'm lying in bed and I'm trying to fall asleep, I like will think of things and then I'll, I'll immediately grab my phone and I'll write them down. And sometimes they're just affirmations that come to me in my head and I want to write them down. So a few affirmations that came to my head, not last night, but the night before, and this was like the night of when I first did my first day of completely unrestricted eating. My weight means nothing to me anymore. I don't care about my rolls or fat and gaining weight is not a bad thing. So those three things came to me organically in my head. I just had that thought and immediately went, yes, I'm gonna hold on to that thought and I'm gonna put it down on my phone and I'm gonna look at it. Then I just have some other motivational things. Give yourself unconditional permission to eat Mental hunger is real hunger. Don't compare yourself to others eating. You have permission to eat even when others are not. You will need to eat more than someone not in recovery. You're craving it, get it, eat it. Begin to trust your body and your body will begin to trust you. And then I just had in bold, like kind of a question to myself. Do you really want to be in this state the rest of your life? Do you want to gain your life back? Ignore this and you will only make it harder for yourself later. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I, like 9.21, I will probably eat more later. I've been pretty bloated because of the ice cream, like I said, but I'm honestly, as I'm talking, I'm starting to feel hungry again. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's such a weird feeling. Uh, there's my little spiel, but yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hi guys, update, it is almost 10.30. I did end up having a little um, rice pudding packet, not packet, <laughs> like cup um, that I bought in my like grocery haul. And I did it because I was like hungry and I felt like eating, but my stomach's definitely, my digestion is not super happy right now. I can be a, any number of factors. I'm obviously eating more than I have been. Um, I'm also eating more junk than I ever have been and um, also I believe I am slightly sensitive to dairy. <laughs> hey, so my battery died and I don't exactly remember where I left off. Basically, I felt like I kind of could eat but my stomach was like bloated and upset and it felt like kind of gassy and stuff and my prediction was right because let's just say Things have cleared a little bit, things have settled. I was like kind of craving food, but I didn't know what I wanted. So I was kind of playing in my head like what I wanted, but I was like, oh, I don't really want that, don't really want that. And then I had the thought of, I have these like white uh, flour tortilla wraps. And I was like thinking about the idea of spreading peanut butter and jelly inside and making like a little roll. And I was like, that is what I want. It's literally just smooth peanut butter and strawberry jam inside. And I'm gonna munch on this while I finish watching some YouTube. I'm watching um, Supreme Banana, her like ayahuasca story. It's really interesting because I learned about it in my intro to drug and alcohol course. Um, I learned about the medicine and uh, I've never like looked into anyone like doing it. And I used to watch like Supreme Banana when I was vegan. Um, and I still do subscribe to her. But yeah, anyway, it's very interesting. So I'm gonna eat this and watch some YouTube and then probably head to sleep. So this will be a good night for now unless I get hungry, which is very, very plausible. I probably will have a second one of these, let's be honest. I might say good night. 
Good night. <laughs>anyway so I have nothing to lose if I'm already miserable as this body then I'm gonna be ten times as miserable if I'm ten pounds heavier but it's not true because it is a mindset your mind in that starved state and that restricted state is not a healthy mind 